First relics for the British Museum has turned to modern devices to try and entice its visitors. The museum has teamed up with a small technology startup in Farringdon to create an app which will enhance the experience, well, for some. Jim McKenzie reports. Brought over from ancient Greece thousands of years ago, the Elgin marbles are top of many tourists' list. But they're not for everyone. The Parthenon Gallery is one of the British Museum's most famous and popular galleries, but it's not exactly the most child-friendly. There are no bright colours here or things to engage with, so the hope is that this app can change that by giving children a fun and slightly competitive way to learn about these sculptures. So in this game, uh, we simply have to match the silhouette to the uh, correct sculpture. So This is one of a number of games and challenges which guide children around the exhibition. Uh, we simply walk up, uh, we point the device to, and that sculpture comes to life. Um, and if we tap just like that, then we get some information. At the minute, we have the details on the sculptures, but it's very adult, uh, adult orientated. With this game, we've created a child-friendly version of that text. And obviously, with a game now, I think children are more inclined to play and to observe what they're looking at and to learn about it than if it's just the sculptures and the normal museum-going environment that they've had in the past. We use the um, technology that they're really comfortable with, those interactions that they're really familiar with, which are exciting and engaging, and that just pulls them in in a kind of way that captivates them whilst delivering something that they're learning about at the same time. But could this soon be more than just a way to keep the kids entertained? The company behind this want to use their technology to change the way we all interact with our city. A lot of mobile and tablet games are head down into your device and shut off from the world. Uh, it's quite a new experience to, uh, to have a game that encourages you to put your head up uh, and to engage with sculptures. It's already eyeing up other places in London where this could work. Perhaps the days of the audio guide are numbered. Jim McKenzie, BBC London News. Every day around 160 households in London are at risk.